All right, guys. Today we're going to go over our fourth and final of our core punches, and that is a punch that we call the uppercut. Now, similarly to the hook, which we went over in a previous video, the uppercut is also done in our square stance. So again, that's where our feet are about shoulder width apart, maybe even a little bit wider. So from the side here, you can see me. I'm in this good, uh, nice, stable position with my feet about shoulder width apart. They're not in front. One's, pardon me, your right nor your right left foot is not either in front or behind. Okay, so you're nice and stable here. Again, you want to have a nice soft knee bend, not necessarily a squat, not necessarily a stilt like position with your legs. So a nice soft knee bend. You're in your good boxer stance in the square stance. And an uppercut, again, for our purposes, is an over exaggeration of movement. So I'm really trying to get as much of my body involved in this process. So if I throw an uppercut, it's really reaching. So I'm working on all of those things that can be difficult for people with Parkinson's uh, that might be a little bit older, uh, of a certain age group. So we're really over exaggerating that movement. We can certainly do an uppercut like this, but it's much more of a powerful movement to do an uppercut like this. Even that difference, you can see how much more of my body is involved. So to break that down, I have my hands uh, in my boxer stance like this, just about here, about chest level. I get a little soft knee bend, and I can almost think of that soft knee bend as a little bit of a lift. I really go dip down. I tell myself I'm scooping up a bunch of ice cream, and I'm putting it all into my mouth and sending them to the moon. So I really dip down in slow motion here and send them up to the moon. So I'm really over exaggerating this. My fist trying to cover as much distance as possible. Again, I'm getting my hips involved. I'm going up on my toes, really getting as much of my body involved as possible. Okay. So again, if you notice, I am doing this with either my right hand or my left hand. That's the beauty of these, um, not only this punch, the uppercut, but the cross as well, or pardon me, with the hook as well. You can do these in either stance. And that's why we're in this kind of what we call the square stance. So we can do an uppercut on the left or on the right. So from the side here, again, I'm pretty much in this stable uh, position here with my feet about shoulder width apart. But I'm just going to show you a few of these in this side view. So we're really over exaggerating that little dip, thinking of it almost as a little bit of a, a lift, a spring, if you will, and really sending those arms high up as possible. So a few more in this way, really getting those arms moving and making this a whole body exercise.